Yeah, the basic requirement for 5G to develop and, and grow in Latin America and the Caribbean are fairly simple. First, uh, due to the nature of the technology, which promises uh, speeds over one gigabit per second, we need a lot of fiber optics or any other backhaul technology that is robust enough to take the information, take all the data that is collected by the antenna and get it to the backbone. So ideally, we are going to need fiber optics or it could be some microwave technologies and in other cases, satellite. But optimally, uh, it's like we are going to see 5G first in those areas, urban areas, where you have a lot of capillarity of fiber. If you have the fiber, then you need a lot of spectrum. When we're talking about 5G technology, we're talking about a spectrum blocks that can go from 100 to 500, 1,000 uh, megahertz in terms of their length and continuous spectrum blocks. So you need fiber, you need spectrum, and of course you are going to need that spectrum to be clean. If the government allocates the spectrum to a operator, but the operator uh, cannot use it because it's not clean, there is a lot of interference, then you cannot launch the technology. And the third uh, ingredient that you need for 5G once you launch it, because you have a spectrum and you have uh, the backhaul uh, <laughs> infrastructure in place, for people to use it, you need devices. And you need devices that can work with the network, and you need devices that can uh, run all this application, advanced application that you want uh, people to access to 5G. So we have fiber, spectrum, and devices. And of course, uh, regulatory framework that is uh, stable and promotes investment in the country. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the countries that are going to be leading 5G are going to be those countries that have a lot of fiber capillarity. And, and here you have Uruguay, Chile, Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Mexico. But we are talking about a country that historically have been the first one to launch new mobile technology and they have been conducting trials. I would have to say Uruguay as one of the contenders. I would say Brazil because Brazil already did trials as well. And also, uh, depending on how spectrum allocation progresses in Argentina, there could be one and also Mexico. First, uh, uh, in order for 5G to flourish uh, in Latin America, you need certain ingredients to be in place like fiber, spectrum devices, but you also need a government that promotes the adoption of new technologies, especially in the part of providing a spectrum that it is ready to use. So in that sense, uh, you can have all these new technology with low latency that can help the financial sector, the health industry, and also be able to uh, promote the deployment and adoption of the famous Internet of Things, which you can call it smart cities, a smart uh, building, etc., in any country in the region. So 5G will be uh, the tool that will enable the Internet of Things to grow in the region.